It may not be best to ask a rancher in February and March how calving season's going because he may have just spent the previous night in bone chilling cold trying to help a uh, two year old heifer that needed his assistance. But now, here in May, I think is a pretty good time to look back at the previous calving season, see what problems we had, and if there's some ways that we can change our management and reduce those problems for future years. One of the things that I would spend some time is to look at our calving book, and especially pay attention to if we lost some calves, when did we lose them? Was it a situation where our losses all occurred at the time of calving, actual delivery? And were those calves born to young cows, two and three year olds? That's an indication to me that we may want to reevaluate our breeding program. Make sure that we have calving ease bulls matched up with those replacement heifers so that we reduce the possibility of calving difficulty in those heifers in subsequent years. Did we lose some calves as they got to be two to three weeks of age, which of course indicates that we may have had some calf diarrhea, some disease problems in those calves. Then there's some whole different management ideas that I think we should take into consideration to try to prevent that from occurring in the, in the future. Are we calving in the same area every year to where there might be a buildup of pathogens in the soil uh, in that particular calving pasture to where we're actually bringing back the, the same problems year after year. If we have a lot of calf diarrhea issues, especially in larger herds, I'd encourage you to learn about what's called the Nebraska Sandhill Calving System. And it's a pretty complicated system that requires lots of different pastures that uh, basically the concept is that we are not allowing young baby newborn calves to be exposed to those the calves that were born earlier in that calving season. It's a complicated system like I said and you can learn more about it by going to the SUNUP show links. That's sunup.okstate.edu. Look under show links and we've put a, a connection there to where you can read and learn more about that Sandhill calving system. Also, if you have an issue with calf diarrhea year after year, I'd really uh, suggest that you spend some time with your local veterinarian and perhaps talk about some of the ways that you might make changes. And that could include the calf scours vaccinations that are available to give to the cows six weeks or more prior to the start of the calving season. I think that's just a stopgap measure, uh, one that uh, can help you through a particular year but you still want to consider what are the issues that are causing our situation to continually have this issue of calf diarrhea every year. It may be nutritional with the cows, it may be, have something to do with the location, but by looking through this and working with your local veterinarian, I think you can help prevent it uh, to a certain degree. We hope this gives you some ideas about looking back at this past calving season and working towards preventing some of those problems next year. And we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.